Hello, my name's Julian Edgar, and I'm the author of the book, Modifying the Aerodynamics of Your Road Car. What I want to do in today's video is look at the airflow down the sides of the car. In this diagram, we've got a car pictured from above. I know you can see the wheels, but if I left them off, it didn't make any sense at all. So we're looking down on the car in this particular view. The first airflow we need to look at is that that wraps around the front corners. So we have airflow approaching the car, and then we have it wrapping around the corners like that. Now, we want that airflow to stay attached as it goes around the corners. If it gets separated at that point, it'll create more drag. So we have attached flow around the corner, and interestingly enough, that flow can create some thrust, some negative drag. Of course, the thrust that's being developed isn't enough to pull the car forward, but it does reduce the overall drag. Now, the airflow has to get past the front wheels. The front wheels are a tough place for air to get past. If the wheels are open-spoked, they create a lot of turbulence. They, the spokes running through the air create uh, drag, and of course air gets dragged through the wheel as well. But does that mean that a wheel that's completely enclosed, say with a flat disc, is lower in drag than any other approach? The latest research doesn't really show that. In fact, on cars, the best results come when there's a slight opening around the outside of the wheel face. And if you look at the original Honda Insight, the Gen 1 Insight, you can see its wheels are like that. And also the special aerodynamic wheels that were made for the Model S Tesla have got little openings around the outside. The other way in which air is encouraged to get past the front wheels, in addition to the design of the wheel, is the use of air curtains. So these are little openings that let air come through past the outer face of the wheel with air being picked up right in the front bumper. I've got another video that talks about air curtains. So now we have the air attached and flowing down the sides of the car, like that. Now, what happens when the air gets to the end of the car? We want the air to just cleanly separate. If the air wraps around like that, then we're going to create a suction peak down that corner and that will increase drag. So we want nice clean separation in that way and then there will be reduced drag compared with if the airflow wraps around. Notice also that the back of the car, the car is getting closer together. It's getting narrower at the back of the car. This is called boat tailing. Boat tailing reduces the area that's exposed to the wake. The wake is all the turbulence that's occurring here. And we want that to be as small as possible. We want the flow to return to the same pressure and speed as it was as if the car weren't there. We can't really achieve that unless we have an enormously long tail. So boat tailing helps in that direction, helps to start achieving that. So looking down on the car from above, gentle radii around those front corners to get attached flow. Flow aided past the wheels, both the front wheels and also the back, but the front wheels very importantly, either by air curtains and or the shape of the wheel having a smooth face, even if it's got little openings around the outside, that doesn't have any harm and can do actually good. We don't want any wraparound at the back, which will create those suction peaks, and we want the wake to be as small as possible, so boat tailing, bringing the back of the car closer together, narrowing at the back of the car to reduce that effective wake size. So looking down on a car is really important, see what's happening with the flow. We get really used to just looking at a car sideways and looking at if flow is attached or separated, but you can apply those same ideas in plan view, looking down on the car from above. The book's called Modifying the Aerodynamics of Your Road Car. Cover all of these sorts of aspects in that book. I think you'll find it of great interest. Thank you.